Now from the number one night team, new developments in the case against former Maricopa County Assessor Paul Peterson and his illegal adoption scheme. A federal judge in Arkansas sentenced Peterson to more than six years in prison. Team 12's Bianca Bono has been following this case since Peterson's arrest. Bianca. In federal court in Arkansas, Paul Peterson sentenced to more than six years behind bars, required to pay more than $100,000 in fines after pleading guilty to conspiracy to smuggle illegal aliens for private financial gain. The virtual court hearing where video and photos were not allowed coming just over a year after the then Maricopa County assessor was arrested for running an illegal adoption scheme, bringing pregnant women from the Marshall Islands to the United States then paying them to put their babies up for adoption. Through our investigation, we're able to determine that Mr. Peterson facilitated at least 500 adoptions. Acting U.S. Attorney in the Western District of Arkansas, Clay Folks, asking the judge for a 10-year prison sentence. The defendant lied to state court judges, falsified court records, encouraged others to lie during state court proceedings, and manipulated birth mothers into consenting adoptions that they did not fully understand. Kurt Altman, Peterson's attorney, pushing for a lesser sentence between 37 and 46 months, submitting dozens of letters written by friends, family, and adoptive families who worked with Peterson, vouching for his good character. During Tuesday's hearing, the judge hearing directly from Peterson's now ex-wife, Raquel, who asked the judge to show mercy and consider Peterson's four young children. In a final statement, Peterson himself telling the judge any punishment imposed would couldn't compare to what he has already lost, saying, quote, I tried to make happy families and in doing so, I ruined my own. Ultimately, the judge, Timothy Brooks, saying Peterson lived a double life, sentencing Peterson to 74 months in prison. It is our sincere hope that this Senate sends a message. And Peterson's legal fight not over yet with sentencing hearings still to come in both Arizona and Utah. Peterson has until January 21st to self-report to prison, and he has two weeks to appeal this decision. Bianca Bono, 12 News.